The morning ritual. Before I begin, please allow me to tell you something from my not so distant past. I remember I used to press the snooze button at least twice each morning. I remember I used to think that waking up early was a burden and I dreamt about the day I could wake up at whatever hour I wanted to. It took me more than two or three hours and two or three cups of coffee to get me going at what I now call my 20% effectiveness mode. I used to work until 9 p.m. or 10 p.m., weekends too, and get mad at my wife because she didn't understand how important my work was. Most of the time I skipped breakfast, or on my best mornings, I ate what I then called a healthy breakfast, eggs and bacon. I remember that at 4 p.m. I was exhausted and used up all my will and discipline to keep on working and I remember that I did all that without having two kids and my own business. I was wondering, how the hell am I going to be able to start a business and have kids without going insane? After a lot of struggle and morning cursing, I had the fortune to understand that my power was in the mornings. So, I started waking up at 5 a.m. and had the goal of taking care of myself first. I went through a lot of rituals and habits, and, at one time, my morning ritual lasted for more than three hours. Over a period of time, I realized that three hours was not sustainable and, moreover, it was not something that everyone could do. So I took all my habits and started a quest to reinvent them. I wanted to fit all these habits into less than an hour and still get 80% of the benefits. I will take them, one by one, and detail them for you, so that you reap all the benefits from my quest that started more than 9 years ago. I will show you habits that will increase your energy in the body, habits that will increase the clarity in your mind, habits that will increase your level of confidence and habits that will put front and center your highest motivation so that you go all the way on the projects that matter most for you. Let's begin. A gratitude for an extraordinary day. What is this? It's a practice that sets the tone for the day. It's a fast and easy way to put yourself in a great state during the first few minutes of the day. Why is it great? Gratitude has the benefit of releasing the hormone oxytocin which counters any hormones that get released due to anxiety, such as cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. So, how are you going to do this? What are you going to write about? All you have to do is take two minutes and start writing all the things that you are grateful for. You can use the phrase, I am so grateful that. The topics of your gratitude can include health, spouse, children, money, clients, parents, friends, knowledge and things less obvious such as hot water, food, shelter, a bed, clothes to wear, your eyesight, your ability to walk. The fact that you live in a peaceful country, that you have freedom of speech and the freedom to pursue your dreams. The best time and place to do this. While you brush your teeth, you can practice gratitude. You read and feel the things you consider to be the most important for you and your life. It is easier to link a new habit to an existing one. And brushing the teeth is something that almost 100% of the people do in the morning. Therefore, Use it to add another good habit for you. Exercise. Please take two minutes and write down on a post-it note at least five things that you are grateful for right now. After three days, you can replace the post-it note with another one containing another five items and so on and so forth. Be hot water with lemon and turmeric. What is this? It's an extremely simple but very powerful habit. Drink 17 ounces or 500 milliliters of water at room temperature mixed with the juice of half a lemon and a half teaspoon of turmeric. While you were asleep, your body used up a lot of water to regulate your body temperature, repair your tissues, etc. Offer your body the opportunity to start the day in an optimum rhythm as soon as you wake up. Why is it great? It improves your digestion. It helps your liver release bile, a digestive enzyme, and it eliminates the toxins from your gastrointestinal tract. It strengthens your immune system. Lemons have a high level of vitamin C which helps you keep colds at bay, a high level of potassium that stimulates your brain and the functions of your nervous system and they also help regulate your blood pressure. It adjusts your body's pH level, 
Lemons are some of the most alkaline foods you can consume. Diseases are triggered by the fact that your body's pH level is acidic and not alkaline. It improves the health and quality of your skin. The antioxidants and vitamin C that are present in lemons help diminish wrinkles and skin spots. It gives you a lot more energy and a feeling of well-being. Lemons are the only known foods that contain negative ions, which help release all of the tension and negative energy that has built up inside your body. Moreover, the smell of lemons improves your mood and can also help diminish your anxiety and depression levels. It freshens your breath and keeps your gums healthy. It protects against gingivitis and helps fight off toothaches. Note, it can, however, damage your teeth's enamel. So I recommend you drink this beverage using a straw and then rinse your mouth with some plain water. How do you do this? Buy a water boiler that has an adjustable temperature setting and set the water to heat until it reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The optimal temperature is somewhere between 122 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. This may seem a bit unusual at first, but after a while, you'll get used to it and you'll start enjoying it. Warm water releases fresh energy into your body in comparison to cold water that sucks up energy. Every food we eat that is below our body temperature is firstly heated through an energy-consuming process. Pour the warm water into a glass, preferably one that can hold between 10 fluid ounces and 13.5 fluid ounces, then add the juice from half a lemon and a half teaspoon of turmeric. If you can't adjust the temperature of the boiler that you have at home, then boil 16 fluid ounces of water. Then pour two-thirds of that hot water into a 16 fluid ounces glass and then add one-third of cold water. Choose small and medium-sized lemons that have thin skin and can be squeezed easily. Usually, large lemons have thick skin and less juice. Why should we add turmeric? Turmeric offers you a number of specific benefits. It's an extremely powerful antioxidant that fights against the free radicals that are known to be carcinogens. It's especially used for its antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties. It's extremely good for your skin, irrespective of whether you use it externally or internally. It cleanses, nourishes and hydrates the skin, maintaining its elasticity and youthfulness. It's excellent for those wishing to lose weight. It helps eliminate the toxins that have accumulated in the liver and kidneys. It stimulates the absorption of nutrients inside the digestive system and regulates metabolism. It's a natural bleaching agent. It's effective in reducing the appearance of skin spots and it also diminishes acne scars in just a few days. It's the most common ingredient used in Ayurvedic medicine because of its anti-inflammatory properties. There's no other food ingredient that has such a powerful anti-inflammatory effect. The molecule responsible for this feature is the cumin. See the Hawaiian meditation. What is this? Meditation, as I see it, is about quieting the mind and becoming aware of the present moment. The mind possesses this strange habit of being either in the past or in the future, and almost never in the present. But the body is always in the present, so becoming aware of the breathing is an easy way to stay in the here and now. After trying many types of meditation, I came to the conclusion that the simplest and most effective is the Ho'oponopono meditation. Dr. Hugh Len teaches Ho'oponopono which is the ancient Hawaiian system of healing, problem solving and transformation. You can read in detail about this system in the book Zero Limits. Why is it great? This is a very powerful technique that has brought peace and healing to me and many others. It's a great way to start the day. To clear all that is incomplete over the night and start fresh and energized. Just as we shower on the outside, we need an internal shower to cleanse anxieties, frustrations and stress, and leave our body, mind and heart refreshed and ready for a great day. How do you do this? 1. Relax with eyes closed. You don't need to be in a meditation position. It's okay to sit up with the back straight. You can even sit on a chair. 2. Inhale through your nose gently while counting. Count in your mind 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3. Hold your breath for 7 seconds. Count in your mind 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 4. Exhale up to a count of 7. Count in your mind 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5. Hold your breath for 7 seconds. Count in your mind 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6. Do this for 7 minutes. 7. Slowly open your eyes and notice how clear and balanced you feel. Possible pitfalls and remedies. Falling asleep, if it happens, don't worry. You just need more sleep. Plan to get at least an extra half an hour of sleep tonight. Too many thoughts coming to mind? Keep counting, because this way you will keep your mind from wandering. No great improvements or aha moments after the first sessions. It takes a few sittings to relax and quiet the mind. Give it time and your efforts will be rewarded. D body tough love. What is this? It's a strange but extremely effective exercise that involves light palm pads over the entire surface of your body, starting at the scalp and ending with your ankles. Why is it great? It's an excellent way to give your muscles a uniform energy boost. I personally practice this exercise not only in the morning but at noon and in the evening, and also when I feel I need to get more energy to my body. An extremely important drawback of modern life is not being able to get in touch with the whole surface of our body on a daily basis. We have areas of our body that we totally ignore for days and even for weeks on end. Other methods we can use to reconnect with our body are Mindful shower which is when you clean your body while paying close attention to your sense of touch throughout the shower. Shower massage, which is when we focus on the area that's being massaged. Guided relaxation, in which you consciously relax every part of your body. Body tough love, which is the time when you cover your entire body with light and energizing palm pads. How can you practice this? Reach out in front of you with your left hand palm facing the ground, and then, with your right hand, begin to lightly tap your left hand starting from your shoulders and ending with your fingers, covering the entire surface of your hand do it thrice. Turn your left hand so that your palm is facing upwards and then, with your right hand, repeat the previous step, three repetitions. Then do the same with your right hand, three repetitions. Your chest, three repetitions. Each side of your waist, three repetitions. Your back, three repetitions. Your legs, front, back, outside and inside, each three repetitions. After energizing your body through this exercise, take three deep breaths and raise your arms above your head. You will instantly feel like a brand new person. After an initial adjustment period, if you want to reach a higher level, you can increase the number of taps from 3 to 5 or even 10 and you can also increase the intensity of these taps. There are no side effects to this exercise and it's extremely motivating to observe the benefits immediately after practicing it. E. The Miracle Shower and the Test of Courage What is this? It's an ingenious way to use your limited time in the morning in a more productive way. In this case, it's about having a Bluetooth speaker in your shower so that you can listen to audiobooks, TED Talks or anything else while showering. The test of courage refers to alternating between warm and cold water throughout the shower. Why is it great? This is truly great because you can sync your Bluetooth speaker with your smartphone and, while your body gets refreshed, the mind can receive great nourishment right from the beginning of the day. How can you do this? It's quite easy. Go online to Amazon and order for the EcoX gear record. You can hang it in the shower, using the hook that it comes with. It works on batteries so you don't have to worry about being close to a power slash recharge outlet. It works with iPhones and Android phones as well. Send me a request at dan at 5 amcoachingcom and I will send you the MP3 file with the shower incantation, which you can put on your phone and listen to it while you take your shower. The details of what you will find on this mp3 file is in the morning inspiration section from the extras chapter at the end of the book. 
During the first half of your shower, you hear motivational affirmations, and during the second half, I encourage you to alternate between warm and cold water at least three times to wake your body up quickly and release the energy stored overnight. Alternating between hot and cold showers has scientifically proven to be beneficial. Start with a warm stream of water to receive the following benefits. Muscle relaxation, blood pressure reduction, decreased anxiety. Then continue and alternate the cold and hot water three times to receive the following benefits. Stimulate your immune system. Increase your level of attention. Stimulate your metabolism and the rapid release of energy. Clear your mind. What does a hot and cold shower actually mean? A cold shower does not involve using cold water exclusively. It means diminishing the warm stream until the water temperature becomes uncomfortable but still manageable. Count to 30 while you massage the entire surface of your body with cold water. Then again count to 30 while you increase the flow of warm water and regain your thermal comfort. Repeat this transition three times and finish with a warm shower at a comfortable temperature. After a while, you can increase the time you spend under the cold shower and decrease the temperature of the cold water. Allow yourself to gradually progress without suffering from thermal shock. Note, these warm and cold water transitions are not suited to people who have cardiovascular issues. Before undergoing this habit, check with your physician. F. The best breakfast in the world. What is this? This breakfast is, actually, a smoothie. Why? Because it's fast, nutritious and delicious. It's the best breakfast you can have in the morning so that you get your optimal dose of antioxidants and nutrients for an entire day. Moreover, it's the daily breakfast recommended by an MD, PhD with more than 30 years of clinical nutrition experience. Why is it great? The name of the excellent doctor I was talking about above is Dr. Michael Greger, a physician, author and internationally renowned speaker on nutrition, food safety and public health issues. He is a founding member of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine and is licensed as a general practitioner specializing in clinical nutrition. He is the founder of www.nutritionfacts.org, a website with more than 2 million visitors a month. How can you make this great breakfast? Use these ingredients. A cup of unsweetened almond milk. A half cup of frozen blueberries. The pulp of a ripe mango. A tablespoon of ground flax seeds. A palmful of white tea leaves. A teaspoon of gooseberry powder. You can get all of these from a good supermarket a Whole Foods Market or your local health food store or online at Amazon. Put all the ingredients in a blender and mix them. You'll get approximately 17 ounces or 500 milliliters of smoothie. The quickest and most comfortable blender you can use to prepare this go-to smoothie is Black & Decker. Search Amazon for Fusion Blade Personal Blender. Another thing you can do to make your life easier is prepare 14 sachets filled with 100% of all of the ingredients you will need. Thus, you will avoid preparing your smoothie using an incomplete recipe and you'll even avoid skipping a day because you haven't bought all of the ingredients. I also invite you to watch the video that Dr. Gregor made on this topic on his website, www.nutritionfacts.org. Search for the video on his website using the phrase a better breakfast. G journaling. What is it? It's the easiest way to stay connected to your true self, to the best version of yourself. Why is it great? It's an excellent habit since, as you probably already know, all the resources that you need are within you. Turn your attention inwards and find the significance of everything you do. Journaling might also be called the act of thinking in writing. A few years back, I heard a quote that I still remember every time I see my journal. Great ideas will visit you only once. You'd better capture them, or you'll lose them forever. How do you do it? Answer the following questions in a nice journal. My absolute favorite is moleskin. If you are not yet a fan, you should try it. I have given 31 questions to match maximum days in a month. 
you should answer the same question for each particular day of a month for the next 12 months and observe how your answer changes from month to month. For instance, on the 5th of January, you answer question number 5 and you will also answer this question on 5th of February, 5 March, etc. 1. What would I dare to do if I knew I could not fail? 2. What am I assuming about what's possible and impossible? 3. What hill am I willing to die on? 4. What brings me joy and fulfillment? 5. What revolution do I want to lead? 6. I imagine myself 12 months from now. What is one thing I'm glad I did? 7. What do I enjoy doing so much that I'm very good at and appear in remarkable results? 8. Who do I admire? Who are my mentors? Why? 9. When was the last time I delivered more than was asked of me? What motivated me to do so? 10. When was the last time I lost track of time and entered a state of flux? What was I doing at the time? 11. What displeases me? What do I want to change in my environment? 12. Who is that one person that I would like to invite out to lunch? What questions would I ask that person? 13. What is the hobby that I would like to try? Why do I find it interesting? 14. When was the last time I got out of my comfort zone? What did I learn about myself? 15. When was the last time I was so excited about a project that I couldn't sleep at night because of my anticipation? 16. Who knows me best? What are the five things I believe that person would say about me? 17. Who would I like to get along with better? What could I do concretely to improve my relationship with that person? 18. What did I want to become when I was five years old? To what extent is what I'm doing right now related to that childhood dream? 19. If I were to write a book about my life that would help a lot of people, what would its title be and what chapters would it have? 20. Which type of charitable NGO would I allot two hours each week? What would I do exactly so that I may feel that my contribution is significant enough? 21. What's the oldest goal I haven't yet accomplished? Is it still significant for me and do I still want to see it through or could I be okay if I never accomplished it? 22. 20 years from now, CNN is doing a documentary about me. What is the title of the documentary and what are the three most important ideas regarding my life? 23. What are the things I'm grateful for? 24. For which activity have I doubled my productivity in the last 12 months? 25. What advice would my 20-year-old version of myself give me now? 26. What is the event that will take place sometime during the next 30 days that I'm waiting for impatiently and why? 27. What do I think is the belief that's holding me back the most? How could I find evidence to disprove its validity, people, events, signs, etc.? 28. What is the habit that I would like to implement in 30 days and why? 29. What is the toxic habit I would like to get rid of in the next 30 days? 30. What could I learn during the next 30 days to double my income? 31. If, for just one day, I could have a superpower, what would it be and what would I use it for? H only one. What is it? It's an extreme method of prioritizing the schedule of a busy person. Instead of working on lots of small pieces and many projects at the same time, Work on just one piece of the most important project of that particular day. Why is it great? A mind that concentrates on just one thing at a time tends to win the game every time. First of all, take the most important step. Forget everything else. The days when I focus on just one thing are usually 2x to 5x more fruitful. My productivity level has skyrocketed and the quality of my work has exceeded even the highest standards I had. How do you discover the most important goal of the day? 1. Make a list of 5 goals you would like to accomplish today. 2. 
Open the www.onlyone.io application. 3. Enter those five goals into the application. 4. The application will have you compare these goals two at a time. 5. Choose from each pair the most important objective. 6. At the end, the application will generate your list of objectives based on the choices you have made but, most importantly, it will show you what your main goal for that day is. 7. You then send the resulting list to your email address so that you have it handy and you are able to accomplish your goals in a predictable manner. Check the degree of relevance that the daily goal has for you. Ask yourself the following questions. 1. If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? If the answer is yes, go on. Steve Jobs used to ask himself this question every day. 2. Would I want to call my best friend at the end of the day and brag about this accomplishment? 3. Will this goal count 5 years from now? 4. What advice would X, mentor, give me on accomplishing this goal? 5. How could I reach this goal for today if I worked for only one hour? 6. What is a completely different way of achieving this goal? Possible pitfalls and remedies. Pressing matters to attend to. It's quite interesting. But when you work consistently on your number one priority, you have way fewer fires to put out. So, this is a remedy in itself. I 12 month goals. What is this? It's the most simple and effective method to clarify your goals for the next 12 months. It was invented by a mentor of mine and it has yet to be equaled with regards to its simplicity and effectiveness by any other method. Why is this practice so special? The wrong moment for setting our goals is when we feel extremely good. This usually happens either at the beginning of the year, while we are still on holiday, or during a training session where the speaker makes sure we feel very excited. The problem is that this particular state of mind will not repeat itself during the next 364 days of the year. Therefore, you're setting goals when your energy level is really high but you'll have to execute the necessary actions when your energy level is much, much lower. The advantage that this technique provides is that by writing and rewriting your goals on a daily basis, for 30 days, your internal negotiation process takes place over the course of many days and many different moods. Hence, some of your goals might disappear because they are really not that relevant. Others will become essential to you while some of them will combine and give birth to even more important goals as well as many other combinations you'll discover during the process. How do you do this? Brian Tracy recommends the following process. 1. Grab an organizer or a special notebook. You can also use the same Moleskine notebook you rely on when you answer your daily question. 2. Write 12 goals you would like to accomplish during the next 12 months. 3. Write these goals using the present tense, in the first person, and also set a time constraint. For instance, I am making sales worth $100,000 by the 31st of December. 4. Each morning, write your list of 12 goals without looking at what you wrote the previous day. 5. Repeat this process for the next 30 days and you'll notice how your goals will get sifted and the only ones remaining will be the ones that are truly important. J. The Relationship Note What is this? It's an easy and simple way of upgrading your relationship, a distinct gesture of appreciation at the beginning of the day that can really light things up for a couple. Why is it great? It is awesome because you only need 5 minutes, or less, to write a great note. Do some soul searching and write something from the heart. Write something that will brighten your spouse's day. Write something that will bring a smile to the face of your loved one. I'm sure that you know how great it is to feel the love of the most important person in your life. You feel invincible. This is why doing this for someone else is a great relationship enhancer. How can you write this note? You don't need to become a card writer for Hallmark or Archie's. You don't even need to become a part-time writer. It's enough to choose from the questions that I will give you and answer them from your heart. That's it. Here are some questions that you can answer and put them in the note. 1. 
What compliment have you never made to your spouse? 2. What is one trait of your partner that you are glad he or she has because you lack it? 3. In what way has your spouse surprised you pleasantly in the last few days? Why do you appreciate that? 4. What compliment would you like to receive from your spouse so that you can offer it first or if you like something more straightforward, you can use one of these. You inspire me. I love to hear you laugh. You are my biggest treasure. I feel rich every day. Your gorgeous smile can lighten up my darkest day. You amaze me with your. You light up my life. You have a beautiful soul. You are lovely in so many ways. I am the luckiest person alive when you hold my hand. I have butterflies in my stomach when you say my name. I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. Possible pitfalls and remedies. Out of inspiration, write more than one note on the inspired days and keep them for the low inspiration days. You stop writing because your spouse is not writing back to you. If you are willing to wait for a few more days, you will see some changes in your spouse's behavior. But this is not the purpose of this practice. Do it because it makes you feel great and because you can show daily appreciation for the person you've chosen to be your spouse. You are reluctant to repeat some of the greatest hits from the previous days or weeks. You seek only new stuff. A belief is carved into our minds after many repetitions. So, actually, you are doing your spouse a favor by repeating some of the ones that had great impact on him or her. You reaffirm that you really believe that and it makes you feel grateful. Often. You now know the most effective things to do as soon as you wake up in the morning. Let's now move on and see some of the key factors that will help you wake up early in the morning, so that you may use this time to do the morning ritual. To conclude, from my perspective, a great morning routine or the first hour of the day needs to have some prerequisite conditions met. 1. It needs to be simple and easy to follow. 2. It needs to have a natural progression. 3. It needs to be accessible to any person not just the ones with unique environments and conditions. 4. It needs to be pretty much the same every day so you can install all of it as a habit. 5. It needs to be strictly timed so that you don't negotiate with yourself a lower version of it. I am confident that each of these prerequisites is met in my morning ritual. And to be double sure, let me do a quick recap of them all. 1. You take care of the energy in your body with these habits. Hot water with lemon and turmeric. Body tough love. The miracle shower. The best breakfast in the world. 2. You take care of your clarity in your mind with these habits. Only 1. 12 month goals. 3. You take care of your confidence level by addressing the emotional needs through these habits. Journaling. The relationship note. 4. You take care of your significance level by connecting to your values and higher aspirations with these habits. Gratitude. The Hawaiian meditation. In this way, you take care of most of your core needs from the first hour of the day and you are easily in the top 0.1% of the people who start their day in terms of essential resources needed for a great day. Do yourself the greatest good and give yourself the gift of the first hour. Your life will be completely transformed in just a few weeks, as I have witnessed this firsthand in my life and in the lives of thousands of the people that live like this now. In the next chapter, I'll give my best reasons to motivate you to wake up at 5 a.m. and also the best two tools that will guarantee you success in implementing this life-changing habit. Do I have a video filmed for Body Tough Love? You may access it on my page on YouTube, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash dangluka99 slash videos or https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals 4NQ77Y. RM4M. 3 https colon slash slash www.ep.nnm.nih.gov slash pc slash articles slash pc 4049052 slash chapter 3